Hello everyone and welcome. Let's start creating the code that we need to insert values on our database. So I'm gonna grab the files that we had in the last lecture, userform.php, where we have the form and the PHP code that handles all the information that comes from the form. Okay, and we have a simple validation here to check if everything has some value on it. Okay, so if everything has a value, we will include the connection.php. So we're going to call this script here. So we connect to our database and then after it we can insert the values that we have on our database. So to insert some values on our database, we need to type mysqli query semicolon and now inside a parenthesis we need to type two values the first value is the connection to the database which is this one here okay stored in this variable uh, dbc database connection so let's type dbc and remember, you are calling or including the file connection PHP. So you can use all the variables that we have in here. Okay. And the second separated by a comma, the second value separated by a comma that you want to type is the insert between double quotes, insert command or query. And make sure you type insert in uh, capital letters. And then you type also in capital letters into, okay, you always have to type this in capital letters, insert into whenever you want to store anything uh, or any data into your database. So insert into and now the name of the table, remember the name of the table was users, okay. Okay, see it here, users, this is the name of the table. So we need to type the name of the table first. So users, and now we need to type all the fields that uh, we are inserting. And you have always to put them in order. So we have the ID, we don't need to put them, it's automatic. We need to put the first name, last name, email, gender, age, comments and password. And the registration date is also automatic. So let's go back and type exactly how we have it in the database. Okay. Make sure you write it the same way you have it here. Exactly here. First name. Now, comma, last name. And uh, email gender age so email gender age comments and password okay and that's it okay after this you need to type values with capital letters as well parentheses again and now you're going to say, where do I get the information to store in these fields of table users? Well, we need to grab that information from these variables. Okay. So these variables, we're going to type between single quotes, we're going to type the variable F name. So F f name l name don't forget the dollar symbol email gender age, 
comments. And finally, the password. Okay, so I think we are done. Let me save this. Make sure you review this um, because if you have any error, if some character is missing, it will give you an error. Make sure you review this. And now to make sure that we have everything inserted or something happened in our database, we're going to type a little function, which is called the MySQL I affected rows. And basically, uh, this will return you a value of all the affected rows in your database. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a variable uh, called registered. And now here, let's type echo variable registered. Is affected. This will return a number. Okay, this will return you a number of rows that are affected. So in this case, it will return one if this works because all of these are in the same row in the table row is affected everything worked fine okay so let's see if everything that we created here works let's type user form please complete the form Let's type uh, Victor, if we leave this in black and submit error, you left some values in blank. Let's go back, refresh. Um, we can also type just a little thing here very quickly, which is H2 and here let's style this P and then style equals and let's close this. And here, let's type um, color and uh, red. And here, let's close the paragraph. Okay, let's save this. So if we submit, there it is. Error, you left some values in blank. So let's refresh and please complete your name let's type email between awesome password one two three four five submit okay so we have a warning saying uh warning mysqli affected rows expected exactly one parameter zero given in line 20. so we need to give a parameter to mysql i affected rows function it says row is affected everything works fine but doesn't give you a number of a row so none of them um, are affected i think let me check if we go to localhost php my admin and we go to my first database users yes actually we have a row affected okay so everything worked fine uh id one victor last name and this is the first time that we have inserted values the only problem here is password doesn't appear anything and registration date is all in zero so we have to see what the problem is there but before that let me just take a quick review on this warning here. So let's go back to the code. And first of all, here in the connection, let me take this out. We don't need this. And let's go to userform.php. And what we need and my SQL I affected rows inside the parenthesis is to put the variable of the connection here. Okay, I forgot that. So let's go back now 
to the form. Let's refresh and let's type another name. Let's type John. Last name is uh, John Smith. Email, you can type whatever you want. Gmail.com, mail, between comments, whatever, password, one, two, three, four, five, submit. Okay, there it is, perfect. One row is affected, everything worked fine. Okay, so let's go back to the users, and there it is, okay? So we have now two users registered, Victor and John, and you see the email here, and then we have a problem in the password, uh, the password doesn't appear and the registration date is uh, 000. So let's see what the problem is with the password. Okay, first of all, we have a little problem here. This shouldn't be here, text area. Let's take this out. Now, besides this, you have to go to connection.php and what it's causing the problem is that you have password here, okay, variable password that returns nothing and you called the connection.php here which calls the password okay so you are declaring password here okay which is whatever comes from a uh, post and the form which is the password of the user later on you will include connection and you give a new value to the same variable with no value in it. Okay, so this is causing the problem with no password inserted in our database. So what we're gonna do is here, let's give it a password one, let's change the name. So this is very important. Don't uh, use the same variables in two different files. Otherwise, it will cause problems. A value on a variable will uh, overwrite the other, okay? So now we have everything ready. I think we are done. Okay, let's go back to the form. Okay, so let's start and type Joe uh, Smith email. Um, Hello, gmail.com, whatever, between 30 and 60, hi, and password, one, two, three, four, five, submit, one row is affected, everything worked fine. Now let's go back here, users, and there it is, okay? So Joe Smith, hello, and one, two, three, four, five, the password. So regarding the problem of the registration date, this is a little bit more complex and we will cover how to store registration dates and how to store exact time for hours, minutes and seconds with PHP and MySQL later on. But uh, in order to avoid this problem for now, let's drop this field, okay? And make sure you try to run again another form Johnny Smith and here you can type whatever whatever email you want mail one two three four five submit one row is effective let's go back here there it is so see you guys in the next lecture